I'm a weirdo. Ready? Two, three, four. Then in here, my wardrobe's been put up. Stability is on the horizon, if that makes any sense whatsoever. May you bless this room with many, many dick. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sweating. You said you didn't want to be basic. Good morning. Welcome to another vlog, but one where things are actually, dare I say it, a little calmer. A little calmer, a little calmer, a little calmer. Isn't it funny how one word can be spelt different but sound the same like karma? as in K-A-R-M-A, -A, and karma, as in C-A-L-M-E-R, sound the same, but spelled different and mean two different things. Fun. How are ya? It's Thursday today. I'm a weirdo. I am just waiting to go into PT. I've walked the boys, fed the boys, had a little hoover. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Ready to go and bite the day. Thank you for all the love on the show vlogs. I'm so glad you enjoyed them. It was tough footage to film, not going to lie, because I, as you saw, was in a bit of a state. I ended up pretty much passing out of life on the Monday and Tuesday of uh, the following week. So we finished the last show on the Saturday. And from... Yeah, Sunday I was just like hung over and then Monday, Tuesday I was so poorly, like my body just went into complete shutdown, I was being sick, I slept for pretty much 48 hours, so I very much took that as a big fat lesson that I needed to slow down and change something in my situ. I don't know if that's probably a bit annoying, isn't it? Me resting it on there. Um, so yeah, I've definitely, the last two weeks, taken things slower I've done the bare minimum but still just been I've still got everything done that I need to get done work-wise but I'm just not putting this pressure on myself to like get everything done the house just is not going to be done overnight it just isn't and it is really overwhelming like the changes that my life has gone through in the last sort of well the whole of this year basically mentally physically financially it's just been change 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 and that's been really tough so I'm just taking the pressure off and just doing the best I can basically which I know so many of you will be thrilled to hear because I have also received a couple of comments from you being like you need to slow down you need to stop you need to take the pressure off etc etc but I'm looking forward to filming a really normal at home old school playing with the dogs showing you what I've had for lunch vlog today they are my favorite to watch they're my favorite to film and I know that they're your favorites too so yeah I'm really looking forward to just being a bit more back to normality I'm gonna go into PT and we will catch up later over breakfast I'm just absolutely ravenous this morning I'm so hungry I need a coffee I need a coffee and I need some beignets <laughs> chicken well it would be lovely right, I said to the vlog how nice it is to be doing a normal at home, see what we eat for lunch, dinner, snacks in between, pissing around with the silly boys vlog. And that's what we love, isn't it? Not ones where we break down on the motorway and bust our tires and Uncle Shell, your breath sinks. I did catch a meat and poo today, so it is a fact. No, stop eating the poo poo. Vinny's starting eating dog shit and I don't know what to do about it. I've Googled it and... Oh, God, yeah. It's bad, it's bad. That's pungent. That's you, Mr. Poo Poo Eater. 
Why are you so feral? You're not nice. I like eating people's poo poo. Yeah. Not, not beautiful and perfect like your brother. Google said that it's something to do with like might not be getting the right amount of nutrients, but he's been on the same food forever. I don't think you can do much more in terms of nutrients. He's also stopped listening to me when I shout at him before eating it, so I'm like really clutching at straws here. I think he's just been a little piggy. <laughs> hey, are you a Mr. Pig? I could have a bit more to eat. Are you a pig? Yeah. Someone messaged yesterday saying that your old Italian man impression is their favourite. Yeah. Maybe Franco. No. <laughs> no Franco. No Franco. Bellissimo. No. Can I um? Can I tell you my new tip for making coffee? Are you gonna? I don't need it. All right. Shall we do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the first thing. I feel like the only time you need to really worry about that is when it's like actually nice, freshly roasted beans. Not. I mean, no expense to Marks and Spencers because I love those, but. Little stir. Oh, see, I like to leave it a little while before I stir. Now I leave it. Let's see. Oh, look at this, please. How is it possible? How is it possible? We've had this rotten wishbone sat drying for too long. <laughs> Are you clearing your wish? I don't. Yes, I'm clear. Ready? Two, three, four. Okay. Did I get the wish? Better wish than good, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> You're not allowed to say what the wish is though, are you? No, God, no, it spoils the magic. Well, I wished for us both. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So, uh, did you wish for us both? No, I wish for myself. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friend, is why I won the wish. <laughs> <laughs> Option for brunch, lunch, whatever this is going to be, is... Obviously, it involves a big beefy tomato. We've got, we can have rye bread with cream cheese, sliced tomato, spinach, or we've got some bacon in here, so we could do the bacon ricotta, spinach, tomato. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds delicious. So we're going to have bacon cooked in water. I think I spoke about this once in... Uh, when we were living in Portland, but I saw it on TikTok, someone cooking their bacon in water and it renders the fat, so that's what makes it really crispy, put it on quite a high heat. Delicious. Also featuring my new pan from Ikea, which I love. And then, did you buy this toast yesterday? I uh, see when I was in Wayne. It's a bit mouldy, but we can have this, can we? Yeah. <gasps> no, what? It's on the way, it's on the way. <laughs> it's on the way. Actually, I just paused the bacon, shall I? Yeah. I've decided I'm sick and tired of spending £10,000 on packet watermelon. So I'm chopping it up myself, putting it in here, popping it in the fridge, and we can have watermelon snacks. Shelb's gone to get some bread for our breakfast, hasn't she? Uncle Shelb's gone out. Oh, what's your job? Oh, I just slice tomatoes and film it. delicious all i've done today is vlog what i've eaten people must think that's all i've done I'm trying to find somewhere in the cupboard for you to balance Yay. all she does is eat yeah. no we've had a productive day today and i've almost finished my thing Woo! all right sister Hi. all right sister We've actually, anything that I've not vlogged for you today is just me and Shelby's been sat on the laptop, so there's nothing for you to see here. But we're just going to have a little snack. And I'm going to make a watermelon salad. By the way, this pot of olives here, 
the essential waitress on. I'm talking to you as well. Look at the size of that pot, right? For the fresh pitted green olives. Two pound. That's good. Is it? For that that pot size of olives like that. That doesn't seem like a very big pot to me, but. Yeah, Shell, that's good. Uh, what do you know? You're still on New Zealand prices. Yeah. Mm. I was actually talking to my friend yesterday and he said, um, butter is now up to eight dollars. Oh, look at my hair. <laughs> what in the world? What in the name of world is- What in the tarnation is going on around here? I'm doing some green olives, half pitted, and some watermelon. This is like a slight take on a salad recipe that I saw Luke uh, I can't remember his surname. I don't want to get it wrong. So I'll link him down below. He did a little Instagram watermelon salad recipe and it was similar to this. I don't have any fresh mint though, which I really need. So that's annoying, but I'll link him down below and you can go and see it. But listen, let this be your sign. You know, I'm a big beefy tomato influencer. Go and get a big fresh watermelon, chop it up and have those cold chunks in your fridge, darling. I should actually just have a job that involves talking about food every single day of the day. A little bit of feta. Mmm, so is she, is she? It's very nice uh, living with someone who like completely likes the same food as you. That is one thing I will say. There's a few fantastic things about living with this idiot, but that is one of them. So I've got olives, watermelon, feta, a bit of parsley, a bit of basil, and I'm gonna do some of this, a little drizzle of olive oil, and a little drizzle of this, Trader Joe's. Does it look disgusting or delicious? I mean, it does look a bit of a funny color, but I know it will taste nice. Go on, I <laughs> Is it disgusting? The camera in my face, and I put a, Slice too big for my mouth in. That's delicious. Mm. I thought I'd give you a moving house update. Uh, this room just consists of my new bed that I've not even made today, which is embarrassing. This is a pile of things from show week left on the floor. This is a pile of dirty washing because we are yet to receive a washing machine, but it's coming. And this is half a job finished and left at half a job. This actually isn't staying in here. <laughs> Nothing has been done in here, but I am getting this regrouted on uh, the 26th of June. So like a couple of Mondays time. And then this will be like a usable bathroom and I'll shower in there and stuff. I haven't bonded with this bathroom yet, which I know sounds crazy, but I am crazy. <laughs> then in here, my wardrobe's been put up. It's mad as well, it looks tiny in this room, it looks huge in my other room. I have unpacked bits, but it's still crackers. So my desk is tucked away in here, which I, th I think I do like. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think I like it. These units um, are gonna go there. And then that white unit that you just saw is gonna go here. Then I wanna get like a vintage, um, what are they called? Like like a big poofy thing, a big poof. And then I'm gonna get um, a mirror to go like that in that space there. So I, I will still have quite a lot of space. Then I've got the wardrobe. I've just like unpacked all of my clothes, but they're obviously not gonna stay there. They are gonna go in, in the wardrobe and in those chest of drawers, shoes down there. But yeah, still need to utilize all of this space better. And then this is what I'm thinking for my desk so that it can be tucked away and I can like look out into the room. So that's where we are so far. In it baby ninnas. Still like things like this, need to change those, disgusting. Still don't have blinds or curtains or anything. Um, but I definitely have taken the pressure off and just accepted that it's gonna be done when it's gonna be done. I need to take my time. Um, work is my priority at the moment and that's just the way it is. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a tidy up now. It's nearly three o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a tidy up and then I've got actually got to go back around to the house with David to sign some annulment papers. 
very long process. Did not realise how much was involved, but um, yeah. Franco, what do you want? You want your dinner. Hey, your leg muscle looks banging. Hey. Yeah. Sure. Wozers, guys. Look at that. Oh Drop your gym routine, honey. <laughs> We're celebrating life today, aren't we? It's been a tough couple of weeks for us both. Tough couple of weeks for everyone involved. So we're having a nice Greek takeaway, our fave. We actually haven't had that for a while. Couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. <laughs> Explains a lot. Long time. It's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> um, I'm a bit pissed off with these flies in here. Yeah. Is there anything we can do about it? So we're having a Greek takeaway. Shelves is going to pop to the supermarket to get us a nice bottle of wine and a couple of bits for tomorrow for brunch. Ciao. <laughs> I thought we could have a little catch up, a little debrief, and I've got three, three PR parcels to open as well. So what's been going on, darling? Basically, I've had a really exciting couple of weeks and though, e even though things have been so stressful, it's just because like I want to do things right and properly and everything that I've wanted for my career really feels like it's starting to fall into place which is stunning amazing couldn't be more grateful but just the timing of it happening it's all it's crazy it's like it happened the thursday after the wednesday we moved into this house so that on top of the show on top of like everything else emotionally that i'm dealing with as well that obviously i can't share can't share everything um it's just been an, it's just been insane so yeah but um really excitingly I have been asked to speak on a panel with Meta in Cannes at a festival called the Cannes Lions Festival, which is basically like, it's like the biggest global advertising and marketing event. So it's really incredibly, like it's such an incredible opportunity for me um, and for Filth Drop and everything that like I stand for to be in front of this sort of audience and to be having an opportunity like that. The process of getting that all sorted and doing that was huge. I feel really proud of myself because I did I did it all on my own. My, um, my old manager, Brona, helped me as well, which was just so helpful. I had like a bit of help from other people in the industry just to get their advice, which was incredible. And yeah it's all signed off and I'm going and it's I've had the I had the meeting yesterday um and Shelves is coming with me because I need obviously help with content and things like that and yeah so next week Monday to Thursday we're flying to Cannes um and I was initially only going going for like the two days uh, Monday and Tuesday but then another opportunity came through for me to speak on another panel with the head of marketing and influencing at Unilever uh Unilever yeah which is basically like Dove which is Dove is like probably in my top three dream brands to work with so I'm doing a panel talk with them on the Thursday I'm really excited I feel I felt really overwhelmed like with the whole thing but in a really good way like oh my god this is everything that I've wanted for my career and I feel like I'm now entering this new phase of my career which is it is everything that I want it to be. Like, I want to do more speaking. I want to do more meaningful things where I can spread what I so deeply care about. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really proud. And I'm glad to be at the other end of the chaos because uh, <coughs> it's absolutely not sustainable to be there for that length of time. What is this? Oh, three little products from that brand, Gen C. I've had both those meetings now. One was today, one was yesterday. Um, I don't know what to expect. I'm really apprehensive about the whole thing, but oh, I've been sent some gorgy bits from Necessaire. The body wash, the deodorant gel. I have tried that deodorant and I can't say I'm a fan, but I've tried the body wash and it's insane. Then there's an exfoliator and a serum. Oh, delicious. This is form and fold oh my gosh oh my gosh that fabric it's like um really soft toweling oh my god i'm obsessed how gorgeous is that i'm actually going to crete in a few weeks the end of july 
and I cannot wait. This is also, God, is that gonna be, is that gonna fit? What size did I get? Oh, honestly, this the branding of this uh, swimwear is absolutely gorgeous. I've got one of their uh, bikinis and I do love it, but it's the bikini that, do you remember when I pinged myself in the face, that brown glitter one, that's what one it is. Lovely, very lucky. Lovely little bits they are. So yeah, that that's it really. That's like what there is to update you on. I'm just finding my feet again, but I feel like I was just saying to Shelves, and I think this is why we were both a bit like, right, let's have a glass of wine today. Because Shelves is, you know, she's starting this new life over here. She's been in another country for like nearly 10 years. There's so many fresh new things for her and her business and both of us have just found ourselves in this totally unexpected situation and we're like in it together but that doesn't mean that it's not hard um and that there aren't things that like we have to work through and navigate and communicate through and all of that so it's been a really nice couple of days for us to both feel like we're getting back on our feet basically I feel like stability is on the horizon if that makes any sense whatsoever so tomorrow You'll be pleased to know that with Can, I, I was like, okay, these are two major panel talks. I haven't done anything this big before IRL and I quite simply can't dress myself because I'll turn up like this. Um, so I'm working with a amazing stylist called Karina who you may follow on Instagram. She's incredible. Her name's The Style Idealist. I'll link her down below. And she's styling me for the event. So we had a coffee, met up, uh, two weeks ago and went through like style I like and things that I do and don't like and want to wear and stuff and she's coming tomorrow with all of these clothes that she's like bought pulled in from brands um and we're gonna have a little try on session so I'm really looking forward to that just actually just as I was saying it out loud I was like where am I gonna be doing that because everything's a mess but I think what I'll do tomorrow is I'll wake up and I'll have like a quick tidy around. I can't can't do stuff when it's hot. It's still really hot. We've also got Steve, um, M's boyfriend coming to, or fiance actually, coming to quote us for the house because he's going to paint our house. We want all the rooms painted. So that'll be a nice little step into the right direction of sorting the house out as well. All of me updates, I think, there. Um... Booked and busy, in it, darling? Do you know what I like? I like a little surprise, like something I haven't asked for. Uh, Whoa, yeah! Brand. Black bows! Actually, there's two surprises. <gasps> okay. Did they not have any big tomatoes? No, no, no. Big tomato. Um, mint and parsley. Didn't have any. Our bread. bread. Have coriander, so parsley. These are my two bowls. What's in about? <gasps> Is this the other surprise? The chocolate? Yeah. A pineapple. I'm gonna do a little so fruit. They didn't have a mango, so I went for a melon. melon. Nice. A pecorino, delicious. Mm. We're having a what shelves like to call a gin tom. Flora Adora. Have you tried this one yet? Yeah, but I only tried like a little bit, and I did it with a soda and some like um, cucumber, mint, and. Raspberries, and it's really nice. Wow. For a refreshing. We ordered these from um, Amazon. They're like the big beefy. They? <laughs> Someone's just commented on my Instagram saying she likes everything big and beefy. We like it big. We like, like it beefy. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, gotta get it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they're nice. There are very few people in this world I would let manhandle an ice cube for me. I know. I could just wash my hands. Yeah, I know. That's why it's you. I want to be able to make clear ice cubes. Have you ever tried that? How do you make clear ice cubes? I don't know, you've got like to distill the water or something. Get some of Monica's holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell the vlog? <laughs> Can I tell them? <laughs> so Shelby's nanny came round when we first moved in and bought some of her holy water for us to bless the house with. So we both had to go around every room and just like sprinkle a bit of water into the room and obviously Shelby's room is right at the, right at the top so I heard her go may you bless this room with many many dick <laughs> so far 
I'm not so good. Got no, you can't, can't, can't say. Can't stand it. Just can't understand it. <laughs> Listen, there's still time. I was just saying on the vlog, it's only it only feels now that we're just starting to get stable in here. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. So totally. the blessed totally. wish that you wished for may still be coming, may still be coming true. Yeah. Many, many dicks may be coming your way. We call this the sunshine chair. Can you see why? Because we love the sunshine. <gasps> I honestly can tell you the last time I had a gin. Oh, delicious. Cheers, darling. Cheers. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Floral, but not too floral. Yeah. Nice. Well, Sasha and I have just poured ourselves a little gin and tonic, actually, because we've had such a productive day. We thought, right, treat ourselves. Couple of days. A oh, couple of days. Mm. Little pecorino. <laughs> oh, delicious. Do you know what? That fucking hits the spot, doesn't it? Mm. You know what I've just thought of as well? I'm backlit again. Um, the French wine we're going to have next week. Oh, my God. It's going to be beyond. So I'm just putting Donner in my mouth? Absolutely beyond. Pecorino go very, very well together. <laughs> really brings out the flavours of the stone fruit. Donna meat and Pecorino. Get mm. to know. Good morning, Baltimore. Ev Every day's like an open door. Every night is a fantasy. Every song's like a symphony. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Ladies and gents. I still look like shit. It's Friday today. Have we got Friday feeling? Friday feeling, yeah. I had a lovely night last night. A really good sleep. I had those earplugs in again. I linked them a couple of videos back. I'll link them again. Today is a more chill day. I've got Karina coming over at some point to do my styling. So I'm thinking that what might work is if I have a shower, maybe slick my hair up, make myself look a bit presentable so that when I'm trying on clothes, it's not like, you know, Shelves has just gone to the gym and oh, my photo is of Emily. How cool. <gasps> Mask times. Whoa. Oh my God, look. This is because it was her birthday the other day. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? Why are you being so crazy? You didn't eat any poo poops on your walk this morning. He ain't normal, this dog. We're gonna have a chilled evening tonight because Chesk is coming over for dinner tomorrow and I really need to tidy the rooms upstairs, but not in the mood at the moment. <laughs> Shell's made me teach her the um, dance from Legally. Go on, do what you... I don't what? know why I have to do the sound effects. Nah, me neither. But... <laughs> right, I cleaned the, the filter hoover the other day on my beloved Miele Triflex. Do you want to try it? Because you've not tried it yet. Okay. It's, it's like a brand new hoover all over again. Right, let's get something dirty, shall we? Here we go. A bit round here with some fluff. I like eco, mate. It is like the best hoover in the world. Lovely. Isn't that so delicious? Mm. And the smell's gone. Yeah. Okay. That was a big dog smell. Look at that. Suck it on up, darling. I going to say something. <laughs> yeah, good note, because it's a PG channel. I stopped myself, don't worry. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, ain't she? You too. Whoa, whoa. Let that cool air hit. Somebody, she's a beauty. Hey, shh, shh. We have come to Marks and Spencer's to get some snacks before Karina arriving. And because we're fat bitches. Yeah, and we do just want a Friday treat. Don't it we? wasn't really about Karina and your friend. 
But Karina, it was about you a little bit, but maybe about the fact that we no, were it weren't really. Hungry. We were looking for an excuse, <laughs> <you>, sir. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to expose, let's expose ourselves. Let, if yeah. we're dragging her down, let's drag us with her. We just wanted some food, you know. We I was like, oh, us. are you hungry? Want us to go and get you some snacks? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I understand you want another supermarket haul. All we've done is not, like, not very strategically spent money at the supermarket this weekend. Mm, it's not even the weekend. It's Friday. Oh, this week. It's embarrassing. Well... You'll be thrilled to know they had a beautiful tomato variety. So I bought these Isle of Wight Tiger Tomatoes, best of the crop. There's a green one, a dark green one, and a red tigery striped one. Interesting. We got some mortadella, some Spanish cured meat selection, some breadsticks. Oh, these look nice, Italian flatbreads. Some gorgonzola. Viennese milk chocolate dip fingers, which I think I'm gonna need one right now. Yeah. Popcorn chicken bites. Oh, good batter. A classic hummus. Some sausage rolls. This I've had before, it's something special. Cherry bakewell loaf. Some red seeded grapes. And a very small milk for a cup of tea. We should eat beans next week. The week after can, we'll eat beans. Yeah. Look who's here. Hi. Tour of the um, wardrobe department. I'm, yeah. I'm honestly paranoid that Vinny's already got his chops on stuff, but hopefully not. I'm very annoyed though, because I paid for my wardrobe to be sorted the other day, and look, the rail's wonky, and that is just not, it's not really on brand, is it? Hello, my favorite color in the world. Whoa! She, oh, this is divine. Batteries on the go. Should we start with panel number one? Yeah, which one's that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> the one with Meta. Meta. Okay. So it's like all neutral vibes. So um, I think it's going to be a case of let's try it all on and whatever I like, yeah. we'll go from there. Let's start with the suit then. A suit. Yeah, trousers and blazer. And then I've got it with asymmetric. Hey. Yeah. Isn't that asymmetric? How is that? Too big? Feels alright. Mm. Okay. Let me not make a judgement until you've got it on. These are categorically the most unattractive <laughs> things to put on, aren't they? And on every one of my try on videos, I'm like this. I swear yeah. to God. But at least I'm glad it's roomy because there's nothing worse than the ones that like cut you in half. Oh my God. Sweating! Should have invested in a va in a fan. Okay. Oh yeah. What bra do I wear that? Would you just wear nipple covers? Yeah. Should I take the bra? Yeah. I want to see this new lady. <laughs> oh gosh, she looks so fancy. Oh, that's lovely. Hey, what a nice um trouser. Could you please get out? I beg. The only thing is, yeah, one they're a bit too long. long. But yeah. You know what other shoe I've got? Yeah. My blue Manolos. Oh, mmm. Do you want me to get them? There's always got to be like one unexpected item. Like that's how I like to do it. Feel the trousers feel a bit big, but yeah, I do. Yeah, like, I'm not offended by them. I yeah. feel like I've got a heel on. Thing is, you go smaller with pleats, like because you're like me, you've got hips. You go smaller. She got a fair And it's um, it starts like you start getting the. What do you call it? The bunching. Counter. Yeah, the bunching. Feels a bit wedding-y now. Yeah. Those, huh? They're not yeah, wedding. Yeah, you're going to want out. open toe, I think. I was thinking of these. Mm -hmm. Bit of texture on the foot. Whoa, okay. <laughs> God, it's hard work being um, fashionable, isn't it? Shoes oh, Karen Millen, is it? Yeah. So just slip it on around yeah. the back, all around the foot. Yeah, I will sort my toenails out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These Simple. sequined ones feel very mum in Lanzarote, <laughs> unfortunately. Do they feel, do you think so? Okay. It, could, it could be my toenails, to be yeah, honest. It could be. Look. <laughs> I was going to say your toenails might be given. <laughs> <laughs> Love, they ain't even given Lanzarote. <laughs> but you want something plain, and then you can go with some decked out big earrings. Yes, yes, yes. 
good thing about these earrings. They um, remind me of those things that you have in therapy to calm you down. You know, like a... What are the ones? <laughs> just get them sure. on. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Happy to try them though. Get off and get them on. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's giving f***ing snooker game. Is that too much for you? Absolutely. Yeah, it is a bit much. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a bit ball bag, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I like. Yeah, I like it's it. Such a little large. The only thing is, I think this needs a slick ponytail because it's given ballet teacher. Embrace it. Do you Embrace know what I mean? that vibe. Is it? Yeah. Look, oh, when I tell you all I wear, this, like, all I wear is a t-shirt. When are you when are you going to do this? Do I look like an Xbox console? A little bit. I'm here for it, you know. Get your massage. <laughs> Not balled over. Yeah. The X is really, it's a lot for me. Okay, next. <laughs> have do you, you want to move on? Yeah, have you know. Have you noticed my patience is like. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. With, yeah, with clothes, I'm like, I yeah, like, oh, done. Okay, then. Okay, I really want you to try on this blue one. Okay. My favourite colour ever. Where's that from? This is Karen Millen again. Sorry, love, can you oh, yeah. me? I it's do done. love Karen Millen. Yeah. She loves a feather. I love a feather. Oh, absolute love. Love. I wish there was more feathers. That's just me being me. Like, a, but, yeah. But then you're not going to like the lands of rocky shoes because that's what I thought. Do you not think it would look better on my body shape if it was just a bit shorter? Or no, is it meant to be like this? Yeah, I think so. Think what? Yeah, like, I know what you mean. It's like it almost like needs to be like. Just to sit yeah. on my head a bit better. I'm, I'm big into this. Yeah. Maybe for a thin ass belt. Have you got anything just like. Uh, just a belt just so we can um it's not not a thin one but and i'm just gonna have to get even if she just tacks that Tax, yeah yeah she'll know what to do because you just say you want it shorter basically well, that's all you want it shorter no grecian it... goddess that is a workout mate <laughs> isn't it it is jesus christ Right, with this, it is a bit fiddly because like there's so much that you can literally place it where you want. So keep like pulling it down and pulling it like if you want a bit more on your tummy, if you want a bit more on your bum, like place it to where you're comfortable. How cute is that? In that gorge. Oh God. <laughs> and, but this was more on my like Ashley Graham flex. Which is she had a really these? fun statement. These are again, they won't let me try them on without. Oh, yeah. I can try these on and I'll never know, can't I? But you, you didn't really like them. I just did. You can't go for gold hoops again, I can't let you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these could be a vibe. Wait, they are a vibe. I just feel like you reject it and then you put it on and then you're like, oh, actually. Yeah, it's classic. Yeah, that's nice. Welcome to working <laughs> with me. That's bloody gorgeous. Just think your makeup done. Oh! I don't Shoes love on. these hoops, but like, it's fine. Gorgeous, isn't it? I knew that colour would look fab on you. Can I keep this? Yes. Oh. I'm going to invoice you for that one. I'll let you know the ones after if you want to keep them. them. Wouldn't I wear a black bag with a black shoe? It's just a bit, but you said you didn't want to be basic. So yeah, you can. That's very like go-to. But if you want to do this, you've got to have one item which is like a bit unexpected. This is giving but wedding though. Do you think that's giving wedding? Yeah. It's giving really? wish I was a bridesmaid, but I didn't make the cut. Is this yours? Yeah. Bit vibey, hey? Do you like a collar? Com collar Wait, how do you wear this collar? hand? Just literally hold it. It's a bit cool for me, I'm afraid. So what are you? You're not cool? No. What are you? Love, you I answered the phone cool. to me in a New York Giants t-shirt. <laughs> Next! <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to leave! <laughs> I'm obsessed with Oh, it. I'm obsessed. Yes. But do you see it? That back bit? Yeah, do we need to take a little picky? Yeah. 
I can always tack that up. Yeah, I just think like, oh, that, I don't I'm thinking that, that was us. So this is by rotation. It's a rental platform. So, and I love that because you get to try brands that you wouldn't normally try. I've and never you've rented. Got, like, you've got no, like, if you don't want to keep it, it's just for one occasion. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't want to spend Very money on something like... Yeah, this is sick. How cool is that? And I oh, yeah. Obviously with the right underwear. I see underwear. But yeah, like, I need the black. Yes. I don't like this bag. Really? Why not? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's just so big. Is it? Yeah, it's making me feel uncomfortable to hold it. Is it? But I feel like I'd be more comfortable carrying my dog. Oh, come off it. Obsessed with this. Oh, that's stunning. I should give you like a um, my cell belt, know, but then because it's got the like elastic, I don't really like belts. Where elastic. are they? These trousers are sick. River Island. Oh, it's a lot for me. Yeah, but with your hair up. I know, you. right? She's really just not going with the statement earrings. You've got to do this but like that's Whoa, good. that's yeah. like a pop, that's like your pop of colour, you know. You don't like it. I don't so. like Sebastian from Ariel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Shut up. These are cute. Nice, aren't they? Yeah, I love those. Need, um, um, can bra. you just try the really white shoe? How do you feel about like chokers? Just give it a go, shall we? I fuck that over your head. We're just trying this. You it's don't have to go for it. Like, it's the accessories, panic. but um, don't I don't struggle panic. with. Don't well, I don't to. love it. Next. I like that though. Oh. These earrings. That's, I'm not, now. Nah, I'm just not feeling the choke. Really? Oh yeah, take off the choke. Styling's finished and me and Shelby's are having a little alfresco dinner with some champagne. Got some, the popcorn chicken bits, olives, fine leaves, little gherkins, some melon, cheese, grapes, little breadsticks, tomatoes, meats and some sausage rolls. Styling was very fun and Karina is incredible. I'm gonna leave her thing down below. Couldn't recommend her enough. She just nailed every part of it. I was getting a little bit like oh, towards the end because I hate clothes. She was amazing. Got the camera out and you decided to turn and face the camera. It's all right. So beautiful. Stay there. Stay in your little posse. No. Does he have to get involved in everything? <laughs> Oh, senor. Uh, whoa, senor, there's some precious things around, you know. You've got to be careful. You've got to be really careful. She's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just stinky your brow coming. See, that's what you wanted the whole time. How do you feel about our washing machine I'm arriving? So I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. We can control it from our phone, so we could put a wash on. It's going to be exciting, isn't it? So, rating the week out of ten, how did you get on this week? Seven. Seven. I hit my nose earlier and I realised how fucking big it is. Can you see that? I do look like Eminem. Oh, shim, shim shady. Slim shady. Oh, that's a nice boy. What's your week out of ten? Did it start off a ten, did it? Started off very badly. Started off one. You really turned it around. Ended in a... Surely a ten with a champagne and a Friday. What are you laughing at? His face. Nah, seven. not a ten, not a ten. But I reckon like seven and a half, eight. Yeah. Nice. Honestly, this spot. <sighs> so painful. My skin had been nothing but neglected these last couple of weeks. It's really showing. And I feel like I've got three days to turn it around. And I don't know what I can do to make it better. It's been a good week, I'm feeling good. I've not, uh, I've been productive, but I've not burnt out. I've not done too much. It's, um, yeah, good. I will see you in Cannes. Crazy. Love you, bye.